we also have people. Will that not be very good in your address? No, my Lord, I want to say something. Huh? I want to say something here. Perhaps it might also enlarge the scope of people who should be invited here for examination. My Lord, if we cannot find those who literally murdered Abiola, who, could, who are those people who could be said to be the beneficiaries of the death of Abiola? There were people who were saying, look, if Abiola should die, heavens will fall. My Lord, some of them have compromised their positions. We should look at those areas, my Lord. If we can't get those who actually did it from the beneficiaries, we'll be able to know if there was such a conspiracy. And then we begin to ask questions why people who said, even if this man has died, the opposition will not be wicked. And then there were some compromises here and there. These things are very clear. May he so rest in peace, but my Lord, we have a duty. For me, my client has been mentioned, but I think, sir, I am prepared to go extra late to dig out to the root of this matter. I am saying that we should look out for the beneficiaries. Who are those beneficiaries? Well, my Lord, uh, I have, uh, uh, well, I will address it in the time of my address. But I made some points very clear here during my cross-examination. We want to close this case. If you know the beneficiaries, we won't close it. We have it open. Just before the case is closed, there's just one loose end. Council to General Sabo wrote the commission requesting that all the discates tendered in evidence be. All the what? All the discates tendered by General Bamayi's council be publicly authenticated. Letter is there with me, my lord. Can my witness leave the uh, my client leave the witness box and maybe now who is controlling the commission? Who? The commission is controlling itself, my lord. Yes. <laughs> and somebody writes commanding or I don't know what is a command or an appeal. I don't know what it is. Well, my lord, it's, it's a request. The discourse we are publicly tendered. It's written to you. Well, do, do you know how to safeguard exhibits? As my lord, please. Uh, whether he wrote or not, we have a duty to safeguard all the exhibits. That's why you have a, a strong room where exhibits are locked up. But my lord, it doesn't mean it's supposed to be writing. Exhibits. No, my lord, I, uh, my application, my letter to my learned friend, the letter was addressed to my learned friend requesting that the, the discourse be properly authenticated to the extent that the date of the recordings on the diskettes can be traced from the diskette, the time of recording can be traced, and what is actually in the diskettes can be transcribed so that we can see them publicly and know when these things were done, whether they were just done recently or they were done at the time that they are alleged to have been done. That, that is, my, my Lord, my, my application. My, my Lord, to save time, sir, if a lawyer wants a record of proceedings or a lawyer wants any material submitted in court, the lawyer can come to the registry, sir. And if you want to play a tape, if you want to obtain a copy of a cassette and the rest of them, if you don't run into a problem, you can apply to the chairman of the commission. But there's no way, sir, we're going to be authenticating records or cases publicly or discounts. The, the, the Council for General Sabo, open your law, section 17 of the act. You haven't got it. Let somebody give him one. Have you seen it? Yes. Section, Read it. Section 15, my lord. 17. I thought that which we operate. Section 17. 17, one, seven. No defect whatever in an instrument or order or direction made or given by the proper authority shall affect the validity of any proceeding, decision, finding, or order made by a tribunal under this act. And, 
and, and read that no, aloud. And, and no action or proceedings in the nature of co waranto Sashio Rarai, Mandamus, Prohibition, Injunction or Declaration against any such against any such, such proceeding, proceeding decision, decision, finding, finding or, order, or order as the case may be, shall be entertained in any court of law. I do not understand the... It, it doesn't ring a bell? No, it doesn't, my lord. If it doesn't, then we'll leave it like that, then. Well, that's all right. My lord, my, all I wanted... My lord, before the general is discharged, and while we are still looking for the truth, you want to ask him questions? No, no, I don't want to ask him anything. My Lord, I, in assisting the Commission, I urge the Commission, before we write addresses, to look at the opening statement of Major Aliyu when the Chief MQ Abiola met Pickard. The opening statements that were made, the video tapes, the Commission should look at it. And uh, my client, he said so, that, oh, I remember you accused me of assassinating Murtala. My Lord, this thing should be looked at in the light of recently declassified CIA documents. Put that in your address. Yes, I will. Ask us to look but, at. Yes, thank you, my Lord. But my Lord, my client, Major Hamza al Musa, who may not have the opportunity on this matter again. You give evidence again? No, not evidence. He has something he wants to inform the commission. Also, to us assisting this commission. Any information mm -hmm. not on the witness box hasn't got much value. Ma he can't. If my he Lord wants say. to give evidence, he will go there and swear. Yes, my Lord, he and can. be cross-examined. He is ready for that, my Lord. It won't take more my, than my two minutes. With profound respect, sir. With, yeah. with profound respect, sir. What's all this rubbish? With profound respect, sir. The evidence of Aliyu is on record. Yeah. And what Aliyu said regarding the role of, alleged role of Pickering in the murder of Murtala Muhammad is also in the... In, so there's nothing to verify or confirm. So we want but to know what... We can't what, go on ad infinitum. Yeah, it cannot be possible, We've sir. We've got enough facts. Yes, sir. Every other thing will be a question of address. Asking us to take particular notice of this, this, that. Secondly, if you don't have direct evidence, the law admits that certain things called circumstantial evidence, My Lord. which may prove a proposition more than direct evidence. That was entirely my contribution. That is what you have to work at. Saying, that's yes. what we want in your address. Yes. Asking you to go in and start all over again. Where do we go from there? With respect, my lord, that was my personal contribution. It had nothing to do You told with him that. No, it has nothing to do with what Major Mustafa wants to say. It was my contribution from the back. My it has lord, nothing to do with what he wants sorry, to say. We are the petitioners. Yes. With profound respect, we are objecting to reopening of this case by Major Al Mustafa. There's nothing worth coming to tell us. My lord, from what we have got, sir, the question of circumstantial evidence, as your lordship has rightly stated, comes in. And if Major Al Mustafa has a lawyer, he cannot take the microphone, sir. You are in charge of the proceedings. He cannot take the microphone. I'm a lawyer, I'm talking, please. He can only talk through his lawyer. We must have some other, sir. What and what you have to research in your brief or in your addresses. Uh, my lord, may the witness we step out of the four. box. Well, my lord, if uh, Major Mustafa has anything to tell the commission, he should be allowed to tell the commission. <laughs> General, please, you may leave the witness box. Uh, my lord, be before, I, before I leave, my lord, both of them can sit together. My lord, can I just <laughs> ask? <laughs> My Lord, I have one question I want to All ask right. the Honorable Reverend All right. Kuka. Uh, you are discharged. No, I want, to ask, want to share the witness no, box with him. I want to ask the Reverend Kuka a question, my Lord. He doesn't want to come at you. Just one question. Ask one question. Because, ask my Lord, in the course of the proceedings. Who am I asking, Mustafa? Reverend Kuka, my Lord. <laughs> That's a good one. Because, in the course of. Uh, you answer him now. Okay. The proceedings of this commission, there was a reference made to
to me as a retired Christian. So I want to know from the Reverend if there's anything like a retired Christian somewhere in the Holy Books. Well, I mean, considering that your, 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 your lawyer is a, is a reverend, and not only that, I'm also your nephew, I don't think he can allow you to be a retired Christian at all. <laughs> and in any case, my lord, the question, I mean, the, the statement was made by a witness. He should ask that witness. He will give him an appropriate answer. I have no, I but think in any case, my lord. has been asked to go to the box. Yes. Do you understand what is going on? Femi Falana, calm down. I've, I haven't seen you so excited. I know you applied to be, to be senior advocate of the master. My Lord. It has not been approved yet. The position is still vacant. <laughs> okay, sir. I mean, your hands, sir. I don't know why my learned friend Femi is, uh, is worried about uh, Mustafa helping the commission. He wants to help the commission. Why should you stop him? Swear him. Now, what witness was he? Second or third? Third was uh, Bami. Maybe first or second. What was he? Bami was what? What was Bami? <laughs> You told me it's third yesterday. Yes. How can Musa be third again? Third again. Unless that's a mistake somewhere. What about the registrar? What uh, witness was he? Registrar, what witness? What about Bami? Yesterday you told us he was third, and we wrote third witness recalled. Yeah. Check your records, see whether it's third or fourth. He is the third witness, but he's being recalled now, sir. So he doesn't need to have another number. No, so third. third witness. Ah, no, I think there was an error. Uh -huh. So we want to be sure now. All right, let me have the record book in Lagos. That's where they give evidence, if you don't know. Five, four, five, six. Third witness, Bamey, fourth witness, Ibrahim, Ibrahim Sabo. So you are both wrong. From this record, Bami was third witness. Then fourth was Ibrahim Sabo. What was Mustafa then? Could you be second? Can we check? was that uh, Dr. Refalomo was first. Uh -huh. ACP Abba was second. He gave evidence in Lagos. Before Major Al Mustafa, third. Abba. In Lagos. Maybe it's in another case. But four, five, I don't know what case. But that's the issue. In this case. Four, five, eight. So the third witness now is being recalled. No, no. Well, I don't know. Four, five, eight. Kola Abiola's case. Yes, sir. Uh, on the 15th day of December, when did the others give evidence? 15th. Evidence on the 15th, we have here. 
2015. Fourth witness was Sabo. Third witness, Bami, is sworn and state. A, a mix up somewhere. Don't you keep lists of witnesses? My lord, what happened on the on the fifteenth? The case didn't go on because Doctor Falama was absent. Yes, my lord. Fifteenth is. That was the the day the case opened. Mm -hmm. The petitioner, Doctor Falama, was not in court, so the case didn't go on. How many witnesses called on the fifteenth? From but this record, Major, uh, Mustafa three and, and four. No, Mustafa was not on the fifteenth. My lord, he was in court, but he didn't give evidence because not the petitioner. Recall, was when did he give evidence? He gave evidence on the. 27th of November, after Dr. Falomo and ACP. 27th of November. Yes, after Dr. Falomo and ACP Abba. He was the third witness. Yeah. What was Bamiyi then? Mm. Oh, he well, didn't give evidence in Lagos. Bamiyi gave evidence in Lagos. He didn't? He did, he did. What was he? What Number what? Well, he, he, he gave evidence. Bamaye gave evidence in, in uh, Bella's case as well. After, yes. Uh, after General Sabo, my lord. To him. I, Major Hamza Al Mustafa, do solemnly swear that the evidence I shall give before this honorable commission shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, Allah. Amin. Major, the commission has granted you permission to clarify issues in respect of the death of late Chief MQ. To Abion. clarify or introduce new evidence, new new evidence. Available. can you go ahead and do so? Yes, my Only lord. Only new yes. evidence that we are admitting. Yes, sir. Clarification? No. Yes. My lord, it's not clarification, and I will take only three minutes. Yes. In this case, there are questions that have not been answered. I initially was drilled from what I wanted to present before the commission. You have to draw a distinction between evidence and address. It's not address, what my lord. What we need here is evidence, yes. not address. It's not, my lord. Your lawyer knows what I'm talking yes. about. Go ahead and give, off, give, give us further evidence that you have. My lord, number one, oh. I'll just give them in points form and just short and precise. On the day late Chief M.K. Abiola died, he was wearing clothes. The clothes handed over to his family were those left behind at the residence where he was kept in the barracks. I am now asking a question. Where were the clothes he was wearing in at the point of death? Who took them? Abiola, after he took the tea, he threw. While lying on his face, there were contents coming out from him. It was on the cloth. If he was to be examined medically, the clothes are of substantial evidence in the case. Where are the clothes? Who took them? Number two. When Abdul Salam Abubakar came in, one of those things we agreed were that there will be or there was to be a maiden address to the nation. On the next type of transition, after the first PRC meeting, everything was halted until after the 20th of July, the death of Abiola. The question is, why do we have to wait for Abiola to die before Nigeria was to be given a new transition program? Nobody asked this question. Second, emergency drills. You cannot qualify to be a corporal, in particularly military intelligence, without knowing, even in, on first aid, emergency drills on any sick person. It is called one-way traffic. When somebody is sick, what you are to look for 
is the direction of the hospital and you find yourself right there. It's not the doctor. But Abiola was, was kept lying on his face as against the reverse. And everybody stood on and was where they were watching. And this man was in pain and they were looking for a doctor, not hospital. Why should he be allowed to be lying on his face? Number one. Why should he be allowed to be groaning and everybody was standing and watching? Why should the doctor be seen to be, to be looked for to come to a place that was not hospital to attend to a sick man in a critical situation? Faulty. Another question, my lord, is the refusal of General Abdul Salam Abubakar to meet late Chief MK Abiola in person. He keeps sending people. The question I ask, were they fighting? Was he the one that arrested Abiola? It was General Abacha who arrested Abiola, and General Abacha died. Now that he came, he should have seen himself as a neutral person who was ready to go in line with what we agreed, release Abiola, release the tennis. He refused and he became afraid of Abiola. The question is why? Another question, my lord, is on Zadok. Nobody made mention of Zadok until I said so here. Zadok, he said what he said, but I have the following questions. Why was Zadok kept in detention? Why was he taken away from Abuja to Lagos? Why was he kept unnecessarily out of the police? No work. And he was being threatened. And the allegations against Zadok were that he was a suspect in gun running. My lord, this is the answer. There was a problem in Sierra Leone. And General Obama will confirm to this. Zadok at that time, when the police, along with some bodyguards, were sent to take over the security of President Kaba in Sierra Leone, Zadok was in Niger. And Zadok also, even if he was not in Niger, he was not in charge of the police. But Zadok was alleged that he was the one who allowed the police to go to Sierra Leone without the permission of the Inspector General of Police. Wrong, my lord. Zadok never did. Zadok was in charge of Abiola, and the question is, keep him away so that he will not speak. He was kept in detention and punished. Thanks to this commission, he is back to work. But this is the answer, an alibi. Another question, my lord, is that on the issue of who becomes the second in command in the government of Abdul Salam Abu Bakr, we told him first, retire Admiral Ahigbe. The reasons given to him at that time in the meeting we had were there. You no. say we told him, who are the we? We, we had a meeting with General Abdul Salam Abu Bakr. General Obama has just made mention of it. When the issue, when the day became too hot, this idea came that we should meet with General Abdul Salam Abu Bakr. I initiated it, I did. General Ahigbe became inquisitive. He came in into the meeting. We said, go back. He went. My Lord, the question here is, we now sold to General Abdul Salam Abu Bakr as follows. Ayla, Admiral, who was a minister at that time, was senior to Ahigbe. He was also from Ogun State, the same state as MK Wabiola, the same state as Dia. If the state is aggrieved, the first person who is also sharing the same seniority with you, you, General Abdul Salam Abu Bakr, is Ayla. They refused to make Ayla, who was the senior, as chief of general staff. They brought the junior to make him a chief of general staff. The question is why? And who are they? Abdul Salam Abu Bakr. I'm referring to Abdul Salam Abu Bakr. If he comes, let him throw more lights. Let him throw more lights. And another, the last, uh, or the second to the last, my lord, is the question, there is one big question here. From the time Chief MK Abiola was arrested to the time he died, who were the categories of Nigerians that were considered to be persecuting Abiola? Was it the ones I made mention of in Lagos? Those who took money from him during the campaign and refused to be with him at time of bell? Those who told him to fight on and take over the mantle of leadership, and at the very time he was arrested, they ran away. Category two, 
those who found themselves in a budget government and they now were afraid of Abiola coming out? Or is it the last group, those who were scared that if he comes, their political ambition will never be the same? This is another question. And lastly, my lord, to assist this commission, there is a book called The Confession of a CIA Agent. Mode of killing people secretly and medically or otherwise are contained in that book. If the experiences of that CIA agent are anything to go by, I think some of the witnesses have mentioned some issues to do. Uh, the confessions in what book? As with what? No, I, I'm just, I'm in Where is the book? I don't have my lord, but I'm just saying we should look for the book. There is a book called The Confession of a CIA Agent. It will assist this commission a great deal, my lord. Any idea where we get this book? My lord, I'm in prison. I'm sure any bookshop <laughs> or outside. No, it doesn't matter if you have an idea mm. where we can get it. Any security stores, my lord. In Nigeria or in... Uh, in abroad, America? abroad. Abroad. Mm. I don't know of Nigeria. I don't know, my lord. Uh, okay, that... Chidi, that becomes your homework. The confession of a CIA agent. My lord, uh, CIA, CIA, not CIA, CID, my agent. lord. Yes. Now, if you go to your computer, it will appear, then my you know Lord, who it is. My Lord, if, if the witness can assist me with the a name of the title or the, of, of the author the or the publisher of the book or the year the of year. publication. Now, Major, before, before you, you cross-examine, hold on. Before you go, my last one to you. When former head of state, General Abakar Abdul Salam, visited the United States of America, where were you? And when? Do you remember? I was in Enugu. Yes. Do you know the time? Around October, my lord. Okay. Which Shortly year? Shortly before, I can't recall. Pardon me, I can't recall. Okay. That would be all for you. Any questions? Yes, my lord. The Federal High Court Abuja ordered that Chief Abiola be kept in police custody. Is that correct, to your knowledge? Yes, my lord. Will you know the police commissioner in charge of Abiola's detention from the day the court made that order up to the time you took over? Yes, my lord. What was the name? Commissioner Ahmed or something like that. When did you take over the management, the custody of Chief Abela? I gave in evidence when the first coup was being, pl or was being planned by Dia. Yes. And now, it was obvious that the life of Abiola was at risk. When was we this? We were ordered to take it over. When was this? That should be 1995. Did the court, Federal High Court, vary the order? that Abiola be kept in police custody. Was that order ever varied, to your knowledge? On the issue of what the court said. Was it varied, to your knowledge? On the issue To of, your knowledge, was it varied? I'm answering. On, on the issue of what the court said, mm. whether or not, what I did was the police had the right in hour with him as agreed by the court, and right outside, he was being protected outside, and I did against was those who the, were to abduct him. Was the order varied by the court? We'll come to what you did for security that, reasons. That, that I don't know. The police will know better. Yeah. Now, you said the death of Abiola is similar to that of Abacha. Sure. Is that correct? The correct. manner of death, the Correct. The correct. correct. Were you there, were you physically present when Chief Abiola In respect of Abiola health, you do know, can you recall, that Abiola was not allowed to be attended to by his doctors, going by the exhibits here, letters of demand for his examination and the rest of them. Was that for security reasons? This was before Abubakar came. You asked me the same question in Lagos, if I can vividly remember, yes. and I answered you, and I can remember what I said. What and I said, 
on request, his doctors saw him. Yes. But again, I gave you a list of numerous doctors within the villa and within those that came on his request and saw him. And I turned out the letters and they're in exhibit here in this case. Yeah, I'm talking of Falomo. You yes. know, between 1995 and 98, when Jira Bacha died, yes. Falomo was not allowed to visit him. And he won't ever Falomo to visit him. Yes, sure. He was not allowed to visit he him. He was not. Now, uh, this meeting you had with uh, General Abubakar, I guess that only four of you were present, yourself, General Sabo, General Bameyi, and General Abubakar. Wrong. Uh, who are the others? Six. Who are the others? Colonel Abdallah, the yeah. ADC to General Abacha. Yeah. Was there. Okay, five of you. Six. Six. Now, you are saying that the agreements regarding the fate of Abela were breached by General Abubakar. There were two meetings. Yes. One, this particular one you are talking about, and second was exactly two days after the death of General Abacha in the same Aguda house with the same General Abdul Salam Abubakar. This time around, only two of us. Aliyu brought him there. And that's where I handed over these issues of money and whatever to him, but Aliyu came and said the contrary. I did not hand over to Aliyu. I handed over to General Abdul Salam Abubakar. Physically? We, we spent three hours, 52 minutes, to be precise. Ali was outside. Only two of us. Too much had happened. That's why I wanted General Abdul Salam, uh, General Abdul Salam Abubakar to come, so that I can take on to Holy Book and say, this and this and this were what you agreed, and you betrayed all. Mm. Now, on the handing over of money, are you saying you handed over 500 million and physically? Much more. Physically? Is it cash? No, we want to be guided because his CSO came here, whether rightly or wrong, to say that uh, this money was in the bank. I'm trying to confirm from you. Was this I handed money? over too many things to them. But I want to say this to you. No, on money. With all respect to Aliyu, he was my junior. And thank God, among those brushing him a little at that time, I was one of them. On the money. I'm coming. He came here and only affirmed and refused to swear because they rehearsed what was to be said people to hear. I am swearing, and I'm telling you I'm swearing. If I have done it, I will say I have done it. Major. But what I'm telling you is I have handed over too much to Abu Bakr. I agree with you, Major. Yes. On the money, but you want to be guided. Because the man claimed here, Ali, you listen to him, that what was handed over to him was a handover note, and that this money was in the bank. Are you confirming this, or you are saying you handed over physically 500 million in cash to General Abu Bakr, so that we can be guided? Yes, I have handed over money to Abu Bakr in cash 500 and, million. and in accounts. And they are as follows, now that you want to know. Yes. One, there was the issue of the recovered money in dollars. Remember, there was $1 million, it was in a bag. There were several thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds from some, the same coupist, the same money that was diverted from ecological fund and been channeled to execute a coup. I handed over that to General Abdul Salam Abubakar. Directly. I have some, I have documents, but because he became head of state, I could not hand over those that who was physically there. Second, my lord, because I, did no, I was not prepared to talk today, actually. It was because of the proceedings that I was able to remember these few questions I asked. That's why I came here. I wish I knew that I was to be asked. I could have come with much, much more documents. Because the very day I was allowed, I know probably I, have, I must have done something wrong. That's why I was gagged and I was not allowed to finish the day I was supposed to have token, uh, spoken on Abiola's case. Otherwise, I would have done much, much more. I was scared because of one question my Lord asked. He said, from all you are telling us, what is the link to Abiola's case? I became discouraged and I kept all aside. No, uh, we are going to do that now. That's what you are doing. Now, Major, uh, with respect to Akiola Aguda House, you know there are visitors who are served tea are usually served tea with teacups. Can you remember an incident where a flask had been used, or was used to serve tea. Can you remember an incident? You asked me this same question in Lagos, if I can remember. No, I didn't ask you did. 
You no. did. I can remember you did. Okay, what's you ask me. I remember. I asked you a flask with two, two, two stomach and one mouth. Remember, last year. Now the answer to you is to say that. Any incident? No. In Abuja House, there were several things this commission should ask. There is a housekeeper in Abuja House. Yes. There are security representatives in the in Abuja House. Yes, stewards. When. Ernest Shonokon was there. The person who was appointed, he see also, was my junior. And I happened to be one of those coaching him. We now detail an SSS technical details to that place. And that's where said Abubakar Sadiq Umar said he was detained. The place is kept in such a way that you will remain comfortable to walk around the clock. So that when an issue comes up, the Roman routines are done. Because in a good house, is a place whereby any considered high personality that comes as a guest to the presidency can come to that place and will have an audience to the president, which is to say you require technicians who know what they are doing to attempt to, to avoid mistakes or accidents. Why were they not employed? Now, you listen to Major Aliu in his examination in chief. He said as soon as the Americans came in, particularly Thomas Pickering. Abiola accused him of having participated in the murder of Mustala Muhammad. You remember that part of Aliyu's evidence? It was said right here yes. to me, this is a very serious matter. And it should not be seen to just be asked in a matter of minutes. It's a very, I repeat, very, very serious matter. The genesis in terms of which government comes, how it feared, how it left, is part of what Abiola was asking. And here, I made mention of it to my lordship in Lagos, and I said, if you must reconcile Nigeria, there are four groups that are considered to be the guilt. One, those who conceive changes of government. Second, those who execute the, uh, the, the, the coup to bring about a new government. Third is the contractors that benefit from, from the government. And four are those who benefit from the political transition of the These are the people. They initiate, they put it across. They are the ones who initiate violation of human rights. They are the ones that execute it. And they are the ones that are approved. Major Mustafa, Major Mustafa, you did speak about the manner, you were talking about the similarity of the manner of death of Chief and Abacha. Yes, my lord. Are you aware that uh, General have died in the midst of prostitutes? Are you aware of that? I'm aware, my lord. Are you aware that uh, the late, I mean, uh, Major General died in December 1995? Yes, my lord. Have you ever been linked with the killing of Yaradun? Have you ever been linked? Correct, on several papers, correct. And I have the following to say, just a second. You ask very critical questions. General Abacha, soon after he died, General Abdul Salam Abu Bakr and two other security directors considered what is called preliminary investigations. For what motive? We are yet to come, this is not the case. On Abacha's case, how he died, and what happened after he died, what happened prior to his death, days and events, are issues that we look at the future. The family has not filed any petition here. But whether it is true, he died amidst or not, you will get to hear in due course. On, uh, on Eradua, we have been alleged, and I will tell you why. I know too much about it, and I know those who wishes to hide many issues against it, but we have been handpicked. Do you know why we have been handpicked? No, I'm saying... No, you, no, 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 I'm coming. You can't ask me a question. You were uh, linked. No, I'm answering. Okay, I'm sorry. The I answer, said you were linked. The answer sound like question. Here, we have to be kept in prison for so much of the ills that Nigerians shouldn't know to be seen to be known through us. Through us. I kept quiet. I'm waiting for the day Major that, Mustafa. I'll be, that I'll be challenged on Eradua's case. Major Mustafa. There are a lot, a lot of mysteries. Major you will Mustafa. learn from it as a lawyer. That. Major Mustafa. Yes. You are linked with the murder of General Yaradua. You are, just a minute. You they are, created just, stories on I papers. It may be a lie. You are standing trial for the attempted murder of Alex Ibro. Correct. You are standing trial for the 
killing, unlawful killing of Correct. Kodrat. Correct. That's all for him, sir. I hope. Any other uh, cross nation? I hope there will be room to give you. You have not answers. been asked another question. Uh, does anybody want to cross examine? All right. Uh, Major Al Mustafa. Yes, my lord. Uh, General uh, Brigadier General Ibrahim Sabu has testified to the commission that on the 6th of June, the year 1998, that is the day late General Abacha died. Yes, sir. On the 8th of June, the year 1998, uh, you were at the Asarok Villa, as well as uh, Brigadier General Sabo himself, and among other people, uh, General Ishaya Bamayi. Now, my question is, General Sabo fathers testified that General Bamayi spoke to him and also about the, the, the possibility or he suggested to him that late Chief M.K. Abiola should be killed in order to balance an equation. General Sabo also says that General Bamayi also said a similar thing to you and that you confirmed that to him. Please, Major Al Mustafa, can you confirm to the Commission whether or not it is true? First, that day was a very calm day, a day settled with immense uncertainties. And I must say, with respect, and they are here, it all rested on my shoulders. For nothing, for nothing, the fact that there is peace today. I should be seen to be said, well done. But on the issue of conversation between them, I cannot say I was there. But the issue, I'm coming, I'm coming, my lord. The issue of discussions between each of them and I, or group discussions, I can recall. But let me say with due respect to this question, I am in prison. I know I have taken oath and I have sworn to tell the truth. And the truth about your question is that I am not prepared to respond to this question now. Thank you. That's all right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Well, in the absence of any other question, thank you very much. You are discharged. You is that the cool close of this case? Uh, I would like a very comprehensive address from all parties. Now, the last witness asked seven questions. I'd like you, in your reply, see if you can answer those questions having regard to the evidence before this uh, commission. The answer may be circumstantial evidence, but we know that circumstantial evidence can prove a point with the accuracy of mathematics. Sometimes it's even better than direct evidence because witnesses lie. But circumstances do not lie. So see if you can proffer answers to the seven questions he posed today. Those seven questions may lead us to discover what happened. Do a proper research 
sift the evidence with a small scientist's sieve and see whether we can. It's, it's a calamity that a man of that stature can die and nobody knows how he died. There are some very disturbing aspects. The medical report talked about death by natural causes. What does that mean? That is why when the prison authorities came and mentioned natural causes, I became a bit uh, inquisitive. There they say, if you don't die by firing squad or by hanging, it's called natural causes. So I want to know whether that's a term of art applicable outside the prison. Next thing that worries the commission. How is it that foreigners were here to announce the death of a Nigerian? Uh, that's an odd and whole press conference. How is it that non-doctors before an autopsy was conducted, knew what killed Abiola. Was there a conspiracy? If there was, who are the likely conspirators? Does the evidence point to any conspiracy. If so, study that evidence carefully. To be on the safe side, I would suggest that you get transcript from our secretariat of what actually happened, so that you be on a firm wicket. And then the addresses will be submitted within three weeks, within three weeks. the case that was stood down, 1295. 